What's going on guys? So I'm having a small issue with my 2005 Ford F-150. So let me show you what's going on in here. I don't need to start the car, but I'm just going to turn the key into the on position. I'm going to turn my blower to the lowest setting. And the fan motor should turn on right now. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three. But I get full blast on four. So if you're experiencing the same issues as I am, the repair is pretty much going to be universal for all cars and trucks. And the part that has gone bad is my fan motor resistor, and it looks something like this. So a basic explanation of what a resistor is, is a resistor basically reduces the electrical current. So when I turn my AC onto one, there's going to be a great amount of electrical resistance, and that causes the fan to spin at a slower speed. As where four, there's going to be near zero resistance, allowing the maximum amount of electrical current to flow through. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is remove your key from your ignition. That way you ensure that there's no current going through the resistor. And in order to access my resistor, it's going to be right behind my glove compartment. So in order to get in here, what I'm going to do is take one hand on the right side, one hand on the left side, push in and pull down. And that will release these tabs and therefore allow this to swing down and therefore we can gain access to the resistor. Now you may notice a little envelope back here and this is actually a great hiding spot. So I just keep $40 in the back here just in case if I ever run out of gas or I ever get in a situation where I need $40, I always keep a little bit of money hidden in here. I do not recommend hiding any drugs in here and if you're law enforcement watching this video, I'd recommend looking in this spot in all cars and trucks if you're looking for a drug smuggling spot. But anyway, the resistor is down in here. I'll give you a closer look at it. To remove the resistor on my truck, I need an eight millimeter socket. And I'm gonna need to remove these two little bolts. Okay, from here, after you remove the bolts, the resistor should just slide right out and then you can disconnect the electrical connection by pressing down on the tab. Okay, now I'm going to reinstall the new resistor into the existing electrical connection, just like so. Reinsert it into where it was initially located and put these bolts back in. I guess they're more like screws with a bolt head on, but you know, call them what you want. Okay, from here we can reinsert the key, turn the vehicle into the on position, turn the AC on, and it's already working on setting one, a little bit faster on setting two, a little bit faster still on setting three, and full steam on setting four. Good repair. Now, I may be taking a small risk buying the cheapest resistor I could find on Amazon, but you know what? It's really simple to fix, and if I gotta replace it again in three years, no big deal. Have it shipped right to my door. So anyway, if you like this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hey, check out some of the videos, may find something you're interested in, and consider subscribing for more.